the maiden voyage going here, but man, this wind is whipping, whipping. I'm not sure if this is gonna be a good time or not. Let's see if I can make it up. If not, I'm gonna have to pull this boat back over here and we're gonna see how this goes. That right there was God's gift for a rough takeoff. So, <laughs> I put my boat in the water over there. That's not my red truck. My red truck's down there, but the boat ramp is in between the two. And, uh, well, put out, paddling forward. Needed the power to paddle backwards, so I switched around, lost an oar into the water, had a single oar upwind to my other oar to finally get it back to make it over here. Finally got myself situated. The whole time, didn't even have my life jacket on. Boat took off that fast. But here we go again. Well, I do apologize for the footage because with this wind, it is very, very difficult to, to try to, to film and to boat at the same time safely. Even right now, I'm anchored. My boat's just, whoo, 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 whoo. Man, I'm stuck in a cove here, if you can see behind me. You know, it's a... Uh... The swivel seats are awesome, huh? But yeah, see, it's a little cove, and I mean, I'm still getting whipped around by this wind. So I'm going to throw up my line here and see what's going to happen. But uh, I don't have a whole lot of hopes. Right in front of me is some lily pads, and I'm just giving things a minute to uh, calm back down since my arrival. Well, got my line out over there. I don't know if you can see my bobber or not. Right on the edge of the lilies. Got quite a bit of trout right here. kind of tricky as my line starts to pull across the lily pads again so I can readjust the boat and this is why I haven't been doing much filming it's just constant adjustment but it's okay there's this family of ducks over here they've just been having a good time watching me I'll try to get a better shot of them later I've been out here fishing for a while decided to turn around and start getting going fighting that wind busted off an oar pocket Man, not the pocket, just the round keeper. Sucker. That's gonna be fun getting back. At least I'm upwind. This goes to show you gotta have a backup plan, man. <laughs> I lost my freaking oar on a windy, windy day. Crazy, single paddling now. But I do have a backup. I have a collapsible kayak paddle in the boat. So if I really needed to, I could bust it out and at least be double dipping. But because it's windy like this, it's gonna be more like a sailing trip on the way back. So all I gotta do is steer. So it's gonna be great. It's like the world's largest stand-up paddleboard. You know what? This is probably kind of dangerous. There's all kinds of logs under the water here. Things that could impale me. All right. Safety first, right? Get your life jacket on right. It's not too bad once you get it moving. All right, I figured out a new technique. It's kind of like a, a J-stroke on a canoe. The strokes just aren't as nice and smooth because John boat's a three hole. I'm leaning all the way over to one hole. But it's still easier than going back and forth. Not very fast. But never less easy. To me, easy means efficient. All right, now I'm gonna go to the upwind side here. We are in the wind. Let's get back in the middle of the boat now. Yeah, this is all right. Moving along really nicely. <laughs> Craziness, man. That's why I always like to go upstream or upwind when I paddle. 
because at the end of the day, you don't know what's going to happen. Shit could be broke. Now I just get a free ride back. Yep, yep. There we are, we made it back. All intact. No leaks. Things seem to hold up okay. Let's see what it looks like when we get on the trailer. What a windy, windy day. I doubt that's why this here broke. Sheared right off on me. Well, that was a lot of fun. A lot of work, a lot of fun. I'm gonna have to pick up another uh, ore pocket there. You know, when I sell this thing, it'd just be kind of right. But yeah, put that ore pocket under a lot of strain though in this wind. It just lets me know that the ores that I built are stronger than the cast aluminum. So that's kind of cool. But either way, not a bad boat. Kind of be sad to see it go. It's like the first boat I ever bought that I actually caught fish out of, you know? Ooh, yeah, I caught fish out of that boat. But you know, I got another boat now and it's got a motor. And let's face it, you know, I got plenty of stuff to paddle. I need something to run around with and actually do some fishing, you know? Actually get some fishing, do some catching, not just fishing. But either case, thank you all for watching this little short video, this little update. And uh, God bless, take care. Thank you.